guys, it's Erica here from Big Cat Creative and today I'm going to show you a variety of ways to link your blog post categories on your Squarespace site. So first we're going to cover how to actually add categories to your blog posts in Squarespace 7.0 and 7.1. Then I'll show you how to link those specific categories from basically any link. And I'll show you how to make a category dropdown, which is a really cool Squarespace feature that you can use to link to your categories. So let's get started. Okay, so I have opened a Squarespace 7.1 site and also a Squarespace 7.0 site. We're going to tackle linking to our blog categories on both of the sites because it's pretty darn similar. There isn't too much difference between the both of them. So the first thing we need to cover is obviously how to add categories to your blog posts. And if you already know how to do this, feel free to skip ahead. It is pretty quick and simple though. So obviously you need to have a blog. If you don't have a blog yet, Make sure to watch my other video about how to set up your blog and you'll want to come into your blog and I'm going to go into the blog on both Squarespace 7.0 and 7.1 and you'll need at least one blog post. If you don't have a blog post, you can't really add any categories yet. So to add categories to specific blog posts, just open up the settings of your blog posts, then just click on categories and we're going to add a new category by just typing in the category and hitting enter and that's going to add the category to this blog post so go ahead and click save and in squarespace 7.0 it's really very similar just click edit which is going to open up the settings and down the bottom here it'll say categories click plus create category type in your category and hit enter and that's it that's how you add categories to your specific posts you can add as many categories as you like, although with categories, if you're planning to link to them, I recommend just trying to keep it as simple as possible. You don't want too many. You don't want it to be too overwhelming. So for now, I'm just going to add one to each of my posts and make sure you save the posts after you add the category. So now I'm going to show you how to actually link to that specific category so that when someone clicks on that category, all it does is open that specific category and it filters out everything else. Okay, so I actually just popped off of the camera for a minute and added another post just so we can see the difference when it actually filters out the categories. So I've done that on both sites and they both have a different category. So the first way I'm going to show you how to add a link is we're going to put it up here in our main navigation because I know a lot of people like to do that, especially if you're a blogger and you want to have all of your categories ac across the top or you might even just want to have them in a drop down like this. It's very possible. So this is going to be the same on 7.1 and 7.0. So I'll just show you it on 7.1. You just press plus on your main navigation. Then you're going to add a link. Then you're going to add a title. So you're going to want to title this whatever category you're linking to. So I'm going to title this Squarespace because that's the category I want to link to. And then in the link, we're going to click on this little cog here. We're going to click on page, then we're going to click on our blog. Under categories, choose your category. So I'm going to choose Squarespace because that's the one I want to link to. And then there's also tags here too, so you can actually filter by categories and then tags. I'm just talking about categories right now, but if you do want to get really tricky, you can do categories and tags, which is an awesome way to filter and then filter it again. If you do want to add tags to your posts, you'll find them in the exact same spot you'll find the categories. So just check out the beginning part of this video again. So that's it. Click save and then save. And now you have a link which should show up here in the top. And that's going to go directly to your blog, but it's going to filter out everything that isn't Squarespace. So this is the one Squarespace post we have. You can see the category there. And it works exactly the same on Squarespace 7.0, so I'm not even going to show you. You add a link, click on the little cog, find your blog page, and then choose your category. It's as simple as that. And then if we want to go back to all posts again, we can just click on the main blog link, which will show the two posts. So you could put all of your categories along the top. If you wanted to put them in a drop down menu like this, all you need to do is add a folder. I would probably call it blog posts or something like that and then just drag all of your links your category links into the folder and you'll see that now operates as a drop down if you want to add an all posts you could add a link to your blog 
and you could change the name of it to all posts. So I'm just changing the navigation title, but I'm leaving the page title as blog and the URL slug as blog. So it's still the blog, but it's just going to show up as all posts. And you can add as many of these as you like for however many categories you have. So the same process goes for if you want to link anywhere around your site. So let's say we're actually on your blog page and you want to add some categories to this header section. So let's say you want to add your categories here. You've got Squarespace and blogging are the two different categories. So what you do is you just highlight the text and click on this little link button here. So this is how you add any link to any text. So you could just add a regular link here, but if you want to add your categories, it's exactly the same steps. So press on the cog, press page, blog, and then choose your categories. Just remember to hit save, then apply. So those are obviously changed color because they are links and you can update all of the link coloring in your design colors settings. So I'll just click save on that and just show you how it works. So if I click blogging, it's going to show me only the blogging post. So again, that's exactly the same way you would do it to any links in 7.0 as well. Now the next thing I'm going to show you is a pretty cool little feature that not a lot of people know about, but I do use it on my website and a lot of the templates that we make have this feature as well. And it's a category drop down menu. So I'm going to go ahead and just delete all of this extra stuff. Just get it out of the way. And let's say I want to add it here. So I'm going to click plus to add a new block. And it's called an archive. So if you click on archive, you'll see all of this stuff shows up. If you click to filter your blog, you'll see that your posts show up, which is pretty cool. And then under display, you can actually group it by category. So then it's going to show your categories. If you change it to a drop down, then it's just going to give you a drop down of your categories, which is really cool. The automatic title for this is archive. I like to change this to categories because then people actually know what they're looking for. And then this will just sort it by name, count or activity. So I just like to sort by name. Usually that just puts it in alphabetical order. This is really good if you have a lot of categories and it's just a really tidy way to keep them organized instead of having them all listed out in a text block. So click apply. And it's a little bit hard to see right now because of the background image. So I'm just going to remove that so you can actually see it. So it's a sort of transparent gray color. There is no way you can change the color or settings on this without using custom code. But I think this design does adapt itself pretty well to most website designs. The only real problem with this block is that it's aligned to the left, which I'm sure you've noticed is really annoying. So what I like to do is two things. I either add a search block next to it because searching on your blog posts is really handy. Click search specific page and then choose the blog that we're on. So I either line them up next to each other like that, which helps make the categories block look better. Or if you don't want to add a search to your blog, I actually just add two spacers right next to it. So if you see that little blue line show up right next to the box, I'll add another one. And then I just sort of center it like that. And that makes it centered. For some reason, it's not centered natively and it goes over to the left and it looks a bit silly. So those are my options for making it look a bit better. So just hit save on that and I'll show you how it works. So just click down and you'll see your categories and it will filter out whatever category you choose. Cool. So that is how you can link your blog post categories throughout your site in your main menu to any links around your site and how to add a cool drop down. So if you have any questions, let me know in the comments or if you have any other ideas about how to link your categories, let me know and thanks for watching. <laughs>